Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the word automation series with UiPath where we are exploring the different activities which are available with UiPath to do the word automation. Today we are going to see how exactly can I word with picture or images with word automation. For the previous videos of the word automation, please find the link to the complete playlist of word automation in the description. Coming to the channel for the first time and haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the latest videos. Having said that, let's get started. To start with, let me first go to the folder structure and see what data we have got. So I am in the D colon. I have a folder which is called data. Inside the word file folder, I have something which is called the RPA sample dot doc. This is the same document which we are using throughout the series of the word automation. Now, in the same folder, I have got an image which is nothing but my channel image and its name is pic.png. Now, the agenda here is I want to insert this in this document. Now, how exactly can we do that? That is what we are going to see today. Okay, so let's move back to UiPath Studio. I'll go here and I'll create a new sequence. I'll call this sequence as word picture insert and hit create. We'll just wait for the sequence to load. Once it is available, the first thing we need to validate that in the project, whether or not we have got the uipart.word.activities package. This is the package which is important to be added to the project in order to get the word activities in the activities panel. In case you haven't already seen how can we add that, there is this dedicated video available in the description where we are explaining to get started with the word automation. Okay, so the first thing first, let's go to the activities and take something which is called the word application scope. In the app integration word, drag and drop this activity which is called the word application scope. This activity is pretty simple. We just need to browse to the file which we want to do the automation on. I'll select this folder and we will point it to the same drive which is in the D, data, word file and the RPA sample dot docs. I'll hit open and that is the only setting we want to do on the word application scope. All of these settings we have already explored in the previous video. Feel free to explore the link available in the description. Now. The agenda here was to insert a picture in this document, right? So if I go to the activities and I just search here word, you would notice that inside the available app integration, all these activities are available for the word automation. In that the activity which we are interested today is called the add picture drag and drop the add picture inside the do of the word application scope. Now here we are instructing UiPath to insert a picture in this word file which is sample.doc. Now add picture activity is asking us this certain things that is what we are going to explore. The first thing is where is the picture which you want to insert right we want to insert some picture so where is that picture. So there are two options again you can always click on this button which says browse for file point it directly to the file of this one which is pic.png and hit open right which we have seen the next is you can always pass a variable or an argument or you can make it configurable right so this nothing but a string variable you can store this path in a string variable and pass the string variable directly here in this one which is picture to insert but the idea is we just need to provide the path of the picture now if you see here there is something which is called insert relative to which is asking that how do you want to replace the image whose reference you want to take. Do you want to take a reference of the bookmark or the document or the text right. What is this? So if I go back to the word automation and if I ask you that please insert an image in this document. Now an obvious question would be where should I insert the image? You want me to insert it at the top, 
you want me to insert it here you want me to insert it somewhere at the bottom or you want to insert it somewhere in between the text and that's a valid question right how would the robot know where to insert an image so that is what as a developer we have to tell UiPath that this is the place where you have to insert the image right so let's go back to the activity and see what all options I have the first thing first is called the document where I'm saying that keep it to the document and insert the image at the start of the document which means that this is the start of the document which is the robotic process automation and something something right so if I want to do at the beginning so I keep it to the document and here I say that start of the document let's have a quick save go here and run the file now the robot will start and it should insert the image at the start of the word document right and it has done right as you can see the image is now available at the start of the word document why that is so because we have specified here something which is called start I simply go and delete this image right again my document is back to the initial stage and now if you see here this is the end of the document if I simply want to insert an image at the end of the document so the position where to insert would now be something which is called end hit save go here and run the file again the same concept now this time we are again taking the reference of the document and telling UI part to insert at the end so now if you notice previously it the image was here now this image is available at the bottom right so that is how a simple insert at the beginning or insert at the end works now a question arises if I want to insert it at a specific place let's say maybe here maybe here or maybe here how I can do that so for that UiPath has got something which is called the next option which is called the bookmark which means that we can always have bookmarks which are available in the document and then we can use this bookmark as a reference to insert the images okay so before coming to this activity let's introduce some bookmarks to this one I'll go here and for example I want to insert a image after the first paragraph somewhere here right if you go to the top you would see something you have an insert option here in the home just after that you have something which is called insert I'll click on this insert and here you have an option which says bookmark I click on this one which says bookmark I already have one I'll just delete this right so I'll again go here and say insert a bookmark and word is asking me give me the bookmark right so I just say that the name is let's say bookmark for paragraph one right so bookmark para one is the name which I have given and hit add now the bookmark has been added to this document if I want to do it here you can always go here go to the insert and insert a new bookmark so this is added here and now I can insert a new bookmark and I can simply say add that's it right now I want to see where exactly is the bookmark and how would the robot replace it right so in case you want to see the bookmarks that where all the bookmarks are added so if I go simply to the bookmarks here you would see that one bookmark is available but word is not showing me where is the bookmark that is because in the file by default Microsoft Word does not show you the bookmarks right so you need to enable it so I'll go to the file in the home in the options go to the advanced scroll down to something which is called the show document content and in here you have this option which says show bookmarks I click on this button and hit OK now what would happen I should now see all the bookmarks which are available in this document right so now I simply go here go to the insert in the bookmark and you can see that this bookmark is now added here right so recently I have changed it so now if I simply want to delete this bookmark I can delete this bookmark 
so that is how you add bookmark to the word so wherever you want to add just point click the cursor go to this one which says insert bookmark and say add now the bookmark is added here you want to add it here just you can change it from here right so you can have more than one bookmarks in the document or you can have a single bookmark now it is upon you whether do you want to see this bookmark or you don't want to see this bookmark if you don't want to see this bookmark just go to the file options and just remove it the way we added it right so for this demo i want to keep it enabled so that we are able to see if the robot is properly replacing the bookmark or not okay so i have added this bookmark here so all we require now is the name of the bookmark right so i go here and you see the name of the bookmark is bookmark paravan right so which is here i'll go back to uipath studio now and now instead of insert relative to to the document i would now select something which is called the bookmark now as soon as i select the menu option changes it is asking me give me the bookmark name it is a string so that's why we need to provide it in the double quotes we have provided something which is called the bookmark paravan now it has given me one more option which says do you want to insert this image before the bookmark after the bookmark or do you want to replace it so let's say i want to insert the image before the bookmark i'll hit a quick save this is where the bookmark is i'll go here and i say run the file right this time we have told uipath to insert the image before the bookmark and if you notice here this is the bookmark and the image was inserted just before it similarly if we simply want to insert this image after the bookmark we can select here after and lastly if i simply want to replace it i just go here and select replace and save this go here and run the file now what would happen it will simply replace the bookmark with the image and here it is right the bookmark is replaced so that was about introducing bookmark in the word file and replacing the bookmarks with the image provided now we might be in a situation where we do not have the bookmark option enabled and we do not have the permissions to add now how do i add a image without using the bookmark or i want to insert it at some other places right so for that we have this third option which is called the text which means that now we are telling ui path that you need to search for this text and you do all of these things as soon as i search text here this option get changed now let's try to see what is the use case here now for example i want to replace this text which is available here and i say that insert here so let's say this is the text which i have introduced and i want ui part to add an image here now this time i'll simply use this as a reference go back to ui part studio insert relative to the text search for the text which is this insert image here now here ui path is asking me do you want to replace all the occurrences only the first occurrence last occurrence or the specific occurrence which means that if this insert here is available at five location do you want to replace all the five do you want to replace the first one last one or the specific one let's say i only want to replace the third one so you can simply go to the specific and search here three right and now it will only replace the third occurrence of the insert here right so for us we only have one so i can always use the all option here now the again the same concept do you want to add it before do you want to add it after or do you want to replace it as the name suggests let's first stick to the before one so here we are telling ui path that i have got an image which is called pic.png we want to insert this image just before this text insert here and while you are looking for this text make sure that all the occurrences are replaced right so i go here and run the file now insert here is available and you can see that the image was just 
added before the text which was insert here again the next option is after and replace which is self explanatory in case i want to replace only the first occurrence i can use the first last and the specific let me go back to the word document and remove the image and let's say while we are inserting a document with the text and i have a text which is not available in the document right so i just say here insert here 1 2 3 maybe right and insert here let's remove this now we are telling ui part to search for this text which is not available here let's try to run this automation and see what happens if we get some text which is not available in the word document and we tell ui part to replace it as you can see we have got an exception which says text not found exception ui part is telling me the text which you have told me to found is not available right so a point to remember here whenever you are providing the text here make sure the text is available a simple exception handling can be also done here you can just encapsulate this thing in a try catch block and handle all this exception and do the next set of activities whichever you want to do in case you are new to exception handling there is a dedicated playlist both in english as well as hindi which explain everything about the exception handling links are available in the description so that was all about adding a picture to the microsoft word document i hope you now understand how exactly can you use a add picture activity to insert an image relative to a document bookmark or the text i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation Thank you.